Health and Safety Board of Personnel Introduction Basic hazard awareness is a vital component of safety. It is being aware that are the risks posed to you and others are. Ships are dangerous places and even the most innocuous areas can be hazardous. The most ba basic building blocks of personal safety on board ships is able to recognize what's wrong and how and why. This guidance is intended to provide only the overview of the safety hazard that you may encounter when working on ship. Suitable safety equipment Safety equipment must be available and should be worn. This may include high visibility clothing, life jackets, gloves, overall, non-slip and anti-static footwear, usually toe protection, safety helmets, safe torch or working light, safety harness and lifeline and location line, and manual and automatic rescuation system or MARS. Access to vessels. It contains guidance on how to board vessels safely. The legislation requires the master of a vessel to provide safe means of getting on and off the ship for anyone with legitimate business on board. You must never attempt to board a vessel until you are sure it is safe to do so. Ladders or gangways are often slippery or iced up, so non-slippery footwear will reduce the risk of an accident. But you should still take care, particularly if it is dark. Good day, I'm Decorate Del Pozo and I'm here to discuss working on board. So, several hazards are common to all areas of vessels. So, insects are very resilient and can be found almost anywhere. Rats have been found in holds and sold items can be dropped by people on all areas and should not be touched without gloves. So, this includes passenger area and crew quarters, stowage compartments and lockers, toilets, galleys, holds, and ship equipment. Lastly is hazards. Hazards on board vessels range in severity. You should only examine an example cargo on a vessel when there is no alternative. Comprehensive training is required before entering some environments. Some of the examples are working alone, lighting, slips and falls, machinery, asbestos, cold stores, contact with oils and other spills, excessive noise, and confined spaces.